Grace. I want you and Tracy to take over my agency and run Daring Investigators. Um, Tracy? Yep. So, uh, I guess we're supposed to open the door to, to get to the new case. You know what they say, behind every great man... May I? There's no locks or handles, so how are we supposed to get in? I guess we're just gonna have to use our heads. Open sesame. <laughs> yeah, nice try. Um, when I can't get through the front door, I try the window. Good work, bro. Dick and Tracy, your next case. Professor Cyril Edwards of Rockwater College, a leading authority on ancient Egypt. While working late at his office, he fell into a coma. His wife wants us to investigate. Investigate what? Edwards just probably had a heart attack. The doctors can offer no explanation for his illness. He came to for a few moments. All he said was, destroy the relic before it's too late. A curse. Here we go again. Professor Edwards spent his whole life studying Egypt and its mysteries. His wife is terrified. She wants us to remove that relic and destroy it. Mrs. Edwards said this is where her husband does most of his research. Yeah, but which relic are we supposed to destroy? Beats me. Tracy. Hmm? Date and time are right. That must be the one. Who are you? Uh, Mrs. Edwards has asked us to investigate her husband's illness. I'm Tracy. I'm Dick. John Bennett. You're a colleague of the professor's? I came here to work with him. He is the preeminent authority on ancient Egypt. Um, do you know where he kept the relic he was working on? It's disappeared. No one's been able to locate it. Well, could you tell us anything about it? Well, it was sent to him from a dig he was supervising at the tomb of Pharaoh Zoser. The relic had just arrived. It wasn't even catalogued. Any idea who could have taken it? Well, I found Professor Edwards unconscious. Anyone could have wandered in here and stolen it. But why would they? Well, the artifact is probably very rare. If it is, it's priceless. Mrs. Edwards said that her husband believes the relic might be cursed. <laughs> no offense to the professor, but... He did tend to dabble in the occult. Uh, Egyptian superstitions, evil eyes, taboos, that sort of thing. And you don't buy any of it? No. I'm afraid I'm a pure scientist. I deal in facts. See, the plain fact is that Professor Edwards is a workaholic. His collapse was entirely from overwork. Goodbye. Coffee, sir. Double milk, single sugar. I asked for single milk, double sugar. Be right back. Bullock. Sir? A piece of pottery was stolen from the archaeology lab at Rockwater College. The professor in charge is too ill to help us. I want you on the case right now. Yes, sir. When you're talking about this, you think it was made of gold. Yes, sir, I'm on it. Bullock. Coffee first. Those digital photos are way past the Zodiac. Is that an inscription? 
It could be. Let's see what the extrapolation program can do. Hieroglyphics. Might as well be Chinese. Dad. Hi, guys. Hi, Tracy. Any progress on the Edwards case? Um, well, that relic's disappeared. And the professor's wife still maintains that it's cursed. When George Herbert discovered the tomb of Pharaoh Tutankhamun, he died of blood poisoning and pneumonia before he could open the coffin. The curse of King Tut. I studied that in class. There's an ancient saying about those who would disturb what is long buried. Which is? If the living take from the dead, the dead take from the living. Buried for 5,000 years. Prized by the pharaohs. And now, you are mine. Bullock. Bullock. Bullock! Sir? Anything new on that missing relic case? Actually, sir, I've discovered it's much more than simple theft. Oh? The professor's wife tells me her husband's been cursed. Cursed, Bullock? The professor's in a coma. Now, this relic needs to be found and destroyed. Well, the only thing that's going to be destroyed around here is our reputation if we start going on about curses and all sorts of mummy mumbo jumbo. <sighs> Hey, how's it going? Well, if this were a real history assignment, at least I'd be getting good marks for it. Why? What do you got? I downloaded a hieroglyphics translation program. Take a look. Imhotep's finger? Who's Imhotep and why is his finger so important? Imhotep was a physician to an ancient Egyptian pharaoh. It was said that he could cure madness and heal the sick. Okay, um, what's his finger got to do with it? That I don't know yet. Well, in my opinion, I mean, the whole thing's psychological. I mean, the guy studies something long enough, he's bound to start believing it. In my opinion, I don't think we really know what we're dealing with yet. I say we go back to Professor Bennett and ask him about Imhotep's finger. But he's not into hexes and spells, remember? Well, we have a stolen relic and a dying man. I say it's time he got into it. I got a chemistry class. Okay. We'll meet up later and visit with Bennett then, okay? Good. Right. Hey, Bobby. Hey, check this out. Cool. I still can't get it to light on its own. Where's Stick? Probably at basketball practice. He'll show sooner or later. Well, I hope it's sooner. We have a meeting with Professor Bennett. I'd go with you, but that probably wouldn't sit well with Dick. Well, I don't know. You might be surprised. No, I wouldn't. You know how stubborn Dick can be. I'm mission control. You guys are field agents. Nothing can change his mind. Well, have you ever thought about talking to him about it? We don't talk about things like that. Dick has a lot on his mind these days. I guess. How about you? You guys talk? <laughs> yeah, sure. We talk all the time. How we're gonna handle this, how we're gonna solve that. Lots of talk. I mean about personal things. With Dick? Why not? Well... We just don't. That was a great fellowship, man. Um, I'll see you guys later. All right, see you, Dick. Yeah, later. Hi. Hi. This seat taken? It's reserved for someone who calls back after first date. Oh, so I guess I better go find another chair then. So, how have you been? Okay. You? Did I say something that night that turned you off? I'm just not sure about this, that's all. About us? 
Oh, we don't even know anything about each other. We will. What's this? My student card. I'm officially enrolled at Rockwater. You're starting classes? On Monday. Tracy! Uh, Bobby gave me the message. Yeah, well, I couldn't wait for you forever. So I decided to see Bennett myself. Where were you? Um, practice went late. Well, I hope he hasn't left yet. Great. He's gone. What are you doing? Looking for something that we might have missed before. Something that might help us. Yeah, well, I don't think Bennett's gonna be too thrilled if he walks in. Oh, he's probably gone home by now. Did you hear that? Yeah. Uh, uh. It's coming from over there. Do what? Issue a public warning before someone else falls victim. To what? A clay pot? We're dealing with a theft here, plain and simple. Right, Bullock? Yes, sir. Look, we've questioned every staff and faculty member and even used our contacts in the black market to see if any unusual objects were going around. Nothing. With all due respect, officer, it's Lieutenant. With all due respect, Lieutenant, this is not about some heist. This is far more serious. I mean, we have two people in a coma. The relic has disappeared again. Someone's life could be at stake. I'll say this only once. I am not going on television to make a fool of myself. Is that clear? What if you're wrong, Lieutenant? This is not ancient Egypt. We don't build pyramids. We don't wrap our leaders in linen and pickle them. And we don't believe that a piece of pottery does anything more than decorate a coffee table. So, dig anything up? Nothing much. I've emailed Egyptology professors at major universities to see what they might know of Imhotep's finger. Hmm. Any replies? A couple so far, but nothing useful. Yeah, well, that's the trouble when you're the world's expert on the subject. Nobody knows more than you do. Hello. This is new. Imhotep would attempt to heal the sick by preparing a special potion. This potion was rarely successful. Most of his patients went into a coma and died. Potion, more like poison. Even if it was, how does this connect to Imhotep's finger? I don't know, but we better find that relic. Come on. I'm Detective Bullock with the Rockwater Police Department with a special announcement concerning the health of every citizen of Rockwater. No, it's too formal. <clears throat> Hello, Detective Bullock here with some special news for the whole family. It's too infomercial. <clears throat> Thought our city was safe? Well, it's not. What's this? Well, since you didn't want to do a public announcement, sir, I thought maybe I'd give it a try. I'm not going to have this department made a laughing stock. Well, sir, if we make the public aware, maybe someone will have second thoughts, turn the relic in. Antiquity is big business. Wealthy private collectors and even museums are going to bid on this piece. I've got Interpol involved now. I'll be in the communications room. We've been through this place a dozen times. Well, then we'll look a dozen more. It's not here. Well, who would steal it from Bennett? I don't know. But whoever it is is probably in the hospital by now. Yeah, well, I'm sure we would have heard. Um, maybe this is a lousy time to bring it up, but remember the other night when, uh, when I was late? Yeah. 
Well, I was uh, out with Katya. <sighs> Have you forgotten about the photo of the girl with Chin Man? I mean, if that was Katya, you could be in danger just by talking to her. You lied to me. Sort of, yeah. Why? Well, I just... I just thought you might take it the wrong way. I mean, I know how you feel about her. Oh, yeah? How do I feel? You know. No, I, I don't. Please, explain it to me. Come on, Tracy, you haven't liked her from the beginning. That's because we don't really know who she is yet. It's not the only reason. What other reason could there be? Excuse me. What are you doing here? Um, well, we're working for Professor Edwards' wife. We're looking for something that belonged to him. Something that might explain why he's dying. What? I haven't heard anything. Oh, well, Bennett and Edwards are in a coma. We believe a, an ancient artifact they were studying is cursed. It's a round bowl with a, a snake around it. Is something wrong? Have you seen it? I took it. I found it with some garbage. I, I thought someone had just thrown it away. It was so nice, I just I put it in my pocket. Where is it now? It's at home. But you're not sick. Were you wearing those gloves the night you found it? Yeah, I always wear them when I'm working. That's it. Edwards and Bennett wouldn't have been wearing gloves when they were handling the relic, and they got ill. So, so the curse or whatever it is is in the touch. My kids. Well, look here. Thank you. I'll pass on the message. A woman says she's got the relic we've been looking for. She's at the hospital being checked out. Dick and Tracy are on the way to her apartment. And so are we. Come on. Who are you? Um, I'm Dick. This is Tracy. We need to come in. My mom said never to talk to strangers. Oh, but... Sweetie, your mother sent us here to get something, and she's at the hospital right now getting checked out, so she told us that... Okay. What's her middle name? Um... <sighs> Look, I know you don't know us, and you're right not to talk to strangers, but we're here to help. Okay, I'm calling the police. Oh. Any ideas? <sighs> you could break the door down. Maybe in the movies. What are we gonna do now? <sighs> That's how it's done. Who are you? I'm the police. Okay, let's see your badge. Anyone home? Yeah, my aunt's upstairs, sleeping off a hangover. Go wake her up. Now, I need your help in finding something very important. So, you see, Imhotep prepared his poisonous potion not as a drink, but as a paste. He then applied it to his uh, patient's skin with his hands. Imhotep's finger. Exactly. Professor Edwards' relic was used to, to mix the potion. I guess over the years, the, the potion must have seeped into its surface. So if anyone touched it, the potion rubbed off and made them sick. You got it. The doctors then studied the, the residue on the relic and created an antidote. Hey, guys. Hey, Tracy. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm fine. It's a little too close, though. Lucky for Bennett, his greed didn't do him in. I called Professor Edwards. He's at home recovering. 
You should have known there was going to be trouble with the relic. Why? Well, when the living take from the dead, the dead take from the living. Here goes. <laughs> Bobby, I think he needs a little more work. Daring investigators, Burns speaking. Oh, I was calling for Dick. Uh, just tell him I'll see him Monday. No problem. <laughs>